How's it going guys? My name is Robin and in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to make this fantastic branding effect that you guys can put on all your videos. As you can see right here, I have a few couple I have a couple of videos right here that I actually have this branding effect on and it looks really nice and you guys can do it and uh, it just looks it and it just makes your videos look really professional and I'm sure you guys how to make that today. So <clears throat> all I have to do is simply go and click file, new. We're we'll doing this we're gonna be doing 1080 1080 by 720p click OK once you do that I'm gonna go ahead and add a gradient effect real quick you guys don't have to do this part I just I just I just really want to do it just because I like it and I'm gonna click this boom now we have the gradient effect all you guys want to do simply is click new file or actually no not new file but new layer excuse me and once you do that when you're gonna click control and minus on your keyboard just to zoom out a little bit because we're gonna be using the space. Now you can click on the pen tool, which is right here, and click right here, boom. And we're gonna go ahead and click and drag right here to your desired uh, you know image you know image branding. So for me I'm gonna make this kind of I'm gonna make this kind of big so you guys can really see it. And we're gonna click here, click here and drag it up here. So now you've done that, all you have to do now is simply click on the mask button right here. Once you've done that we have another uh, we actually just created a mask so which which so right now we can actually make uh, you know different gradient effects inside the mask and basically it won't affect the outer image so this this image will basically be uh, untampered with so yeah uh, I'm gonna make it look a little bit better cuz I don't yeah, okay there we go this one looks really this one looks really nice and uh, yeah so basically if you guys want to add texture inside of it um, you guys can just go on Google and search like texture uh, picture uh, right here we have a like a furry animal <laughs> type of skin but for this one I'm gonna be adding this marijuana this weed uh, texture I'm gonna go click control T to rotate this image I'm gonna do I wanna rotate it horizontally so boom there we go <clears throat> I also wanna do click on go click here on normal and make change that to luminosity and once you've done that it's gonna look super duper weird, but it's okay because we're gonna go and click. Uh, we're gonna go and lower lower the opacity just a little bit, just to make it look a little bit cooler. And we're basically just gonna click on the eraser tool, click OK, and basically just erase out the image. Now you, now you, know, now you guys can actually take as much time as you guys want on doing this, but for me, I'm just gonna make this quick and snappy because it is because because it is a tutorial. And people like to do it really fast. So, yeah, once you do that, you guys can actually make your uh, number or your letter, whatever your thing is. For me, it's gonna be W, and I'm gonna go put that. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller, just just because I like it. And we're gonna go ahead and move this image or this letter right in the middle. And I'm gonna make it a little. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger by clicking Control T, and I'm gonna hold Shift while I drag the image out. Because if you guys don't do that, it's gonna be like this, and you're gonna, you know, I'm just gonna, and you know, you're just gonna have a bad time. So basically, just Control T and hold Shift while you drag it out, so it'll maintain the proportion. All right. So once you've done that, click the check mark and click on the W. Left click on it and click Blending Options. <laughs> once you do that, I usually add a bit of stroke on my image. I usually add like one size. And basically what that does is it actually makes an outline of the image and as you can see right now you guys can see the outline and now it's all cool and stuff so I usually just click on one and you guys can actually add your gradient effect right now I usually just go with a custom gradient effect this is kind of like the normal gradient effects that you guys see on your uh, image but for me I have a custom one and I usually use that one you could also use something else but yeah we're gonna be using this one and for, and for the last thing, I usually add a drop shadow just to make it look a lot cooler, in my opinion. <laughs> so there we go. And that looks a lot cooler and it looks a lot fucking, it looks like really, really fucking cool. So there you go. And all you have to do now is just simply save this image as a PNG file and simply place it onto your thumbnail. When, you, when you're done editing your thumbnail, you just have to place, place this on your thumbnail and it'll be just fine. So... Uh, as you can see, I've already made this one, and we're going to make. I'm just going to call this whatever. Click OK, and now that now you've done that, you can pretty much just look at it. So, oops, not. 
Okay, did I do that one? Okay, so this is this is the one that we just did. So, yeah, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy the video, and uh, if you guys did, make sure to give a like rating. I greatly appreciate it. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Have a fantastic day, and stay in school. Oh.